every great story starts with the rush of thrilling gaming action. Handcrafted flavors, eager to please. Getaways for some well-deserved me time. And rewards worth bragging about. If it's a story worth telling, it starts at La Berge Baton Rouge. What's your story? You could be the biggest sale of the year is happening right now during Happy Honda Days at Team Honda. For a limited time, make no payments for 90 days on every new Honda. That's right, you choose and make no payments for 90 days at Louisiana's number one Honda dealer, Team Honda on Segan Lane. Visit Treads and Care Tire Company's new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for over 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair and top-notch customer service. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing could ever bring me down Taste the feeling Welcome as we start the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. As always, here's hoping all is well with you and yours and your little slice of South Louisiana heaven since the last time we had the opportunity to spend some time with you and yours. Starting as we typically do with Louisiana news, the LSU athletic family in mourning this day after a name that all us old heads remember from LSU Tiger basketball, Wayne Sims, collapsing and dying at the age of 54 this week. LSU released the following statement, and I'll read just a part of it. Former LSU basketball player Wayne Sims, who played from the, for the Tigers from 1987 to 91, passed away Wednesday at the age of 54. Sims played for Coach Dale Brown and played alongside such players as Mahmoud Abdul Rauf, formerly known then as Chris Jackson, Vernell Singleton, and Shaquille O'Neal as the Tigers appeared in the NCAA tournament every year that Sims played for LSU and won the SEC championship in 1991, his senior season. You may well remember as well, his son, Wade Sims, tragically losing his life in an off-campus incident at Southern University, trying to do the right thing and break up a fight. I don't know if Wayne's wife and Wade's mother, Faye, is a person of faith or not. And I'm going to say this hoping that if she is not a woman of faith, that she will charge this to my head and not to my heart. Keep that family in your thoughts and in your prayers. I cannot begin to imagine what it must be like for a mother and a wife in a span of four or five years to lose her college age son and her 54-year-old husband, totally unexpectedly. It is one of those things in life that makes us realize just how fragile our existence actually is. So again, I don't think that Faye Sims would mind in the least if I were to ask you to keep her and that family in both your thoughts and in your prayers. In other Louisiana news, as you well know, the Louisiana legislature is currently in session. And among the many things that will be bantered about is potentially ending the death penalty here in Louisiana. John Bell Edwards, weighing in this week, 
saying that, quote, I'm calling for the legislature to end the death penalty in Louisiana. It does not deter crime. It isn't necessary for public safety. And more importantly, it is wholly inconsistent with Louisiana's pro-life values as it quite literally promotes a culture of death. I disagree with the governor's statement on so many fronts. I don't have enough time to talk about it here. What you will typically hear from many Democrats and a whole lot of liberals is that the death penalty is something that we shouldn't be considering because at the end of the day, you're promoting a culture of death. No, we're not. We are promoting a culture of responsibility. You will also hear from those on the left that the reason we need to do away with this is because the companies that make the drugs that are used to administer the death penalty in lethal injection don't want their products associated with people dying. Well, there's a pretty easy solution to that conundrum. What did we do before lethal injection to administer the death penalty to people who on no uncertain terms made it known that they were either unable or not willing to abide by the laws of a civilized society. And actually, if you think about it, the things we did before lethal injection were a whole lot more cost effective. Rope doesn't cost a whole lot. You can literally make your own bullets and old Sparky does not require a whole lot of electricity to operate. For me, someone who has watched this for so many decades now and we've always had a problem with it, the swift administration of justice. When you allow people to sit on death row for 17, 20, 25 years, where is the incentive for someone considering doing the same thing that this person did to not do it? We're going to keep an eye on this legislation as it works its way through the legislative session and any developments that occur we will be sure to pass those along to you and yours speaking of the louisiana legislative session one of the things that will be up for debate this session is stiffening the penalties for violent crime you want to talk about there being no incentive for people to govern themselves in a different fashion. Violent crime has become a scourge on our society. And whether they will readily admit it or not, a huge part of the problem is that there aren't any real consequences anymore, short of you going out and engaging in mass murder. And even then, in many states, there is the prospect that you and I will be honored with the privilege and the pleasure of providing for the three hots and a cot and health care for those who engage in violent crime while thumbing their noses at the rest of society. You clean that up, we won't have that problem to deal with anymore. But again, as you well know, and if you need an example, just look around at any number of blue states, liberal Democrat run states, where there's no bail, 
released on your own recognizance, even though you commit this most heinous crime, defunding the police, you look at those things and you just end up kind of scratching your head, wondering what in God's name are these people thinking? Yet another story that we will be keeping an eye on as the Louisiana legislative session continues. There was also in Louisiana news some disturbing news to come out this week. You and I know full well if you've been paying any attention at all that in our state the state that I dearly love we have a major problem with pedestrians being hit by cars. We are one of the leading states in the nation as far as your chances of being killed by doing nothing more than walking on side of a roadway, sidewalk, what have you. And there's some clown in a 2,000 pound vehicle looking at the phone instead of looking around at what's happening around them. And sadly, the numbers continue to rise. You can expect, and, and how many times, y'all, have you heard me say, when you fail to govern yourself, you are consenting to be governed. So what's going to happen, in all likelihood, is an increase in penalties for distracted driving, an increase in penalties for individuals that hit pedestrians because they weren't paying attention. When the simple fact of the matter is, put the darn phone down and pay attention to what you're doing. With all the problems that we have in our state, with the limited amount of time and resources to address these problems, this is not supposed to be one of them, y'all. In tennis, the sport of tennis, they call this an unforced error. Nobody made you do it. You chose to get behind the wheel of a car at 50, 60, 70 miles an hour and check your freaking email or see what the text was that just came across your phone. These are things that are firmly within our control to rectify. But for whatever reason, we choose not to. What's the old saying? We can't fix stupid, but we can make it real expensive. Is that the best that we can do? Just an observation. First break of today's show. When we come back, familiarity breeds contempt. That's next when we continue the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. Hey everybody, I'm Kevin Gallagher. This is Roy Fletcher. We hope you'll join us for Fletch Nation, especially if you like talking politics. Hey, come and join us. We'll give you the information and then we'll give you the context. We and hit, by the way, we'll give you fun too. Uh, lots of fun. We hit the local races, the state, we even look at what's going on all across America. And by the way, this space is available. If you'd like to talk about advertising, send your emails to Roy Fletcher at RoyFletcher.com and join us every week here on the Pelican for Fletch Nation. 
I owed the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 800-778-4345. 800-778-4345. The season of inspiration is the perfect time to discover the enhanced Mazda CX-5. Named a 2022 IIHS Safety Pick Plus Award winner, its highest safety award honor. Choose from over 45 CX-5s available at Baton Rouge's Mazda dealer, Team Mazda on Airline. Hi gang, Clarence Bugs here, inviting you to come by Old School Barbecue, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, where we tape the show live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 11 o'clock. Come by and feast on news, sports, current events, love of God and country, and lots of common sense, along with some of the best barbecue anywhere on the planet. 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Old School Barbecue, home of the Clarence Bugs Show. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Welcome back to the Thursday edition of the Clarence Spug Show. You know, there are a couple of old adages that could probably sum up this segment. One that comes to mind is familiarity breeds contempt. Another that comes to mind, too close to the forest to see the trees. In recent memory, in the country that I love dearly, we have seen more and more people attempt to steer us towards socialism. There was a time in this country where if you espoused certain views, the likes of which AOC, Bernie Sanders, the squad, and others promoted, you would have been run out of town on a rail, lickety split. But we see it more and more and more with ever increasing frequency from people on the left. We need universal income and we need this and we need that. And most of them have no clue what they're talking about. If at your place of employment or in your sphere of influence, you are fortunate enough to know someone that escaped from a communist country or a socialist country, they will tell you in a heartbeat, Americans have no idea how good they have it. We've been in the system for so long that many of us have no idea what life is like in these other countries. Recently, I ran across an article that caught my eye. And as I started reading it, I had a, a, a direct connection. This young woman attended Columbia University and what she was taught and shown shocked her. For clarity's sake, my sister 
is a Columbia graduate. Did her undergrad at Tulane, went to Wayne State University, got her medical degree, decided she wanted to be a surgeon, went on to Columbia University. She can crack your chest open, take out a heart, liver, kidneys, give you a new one, sew you up, send you on your way. So there's a direct connection for me with Columbia. Enter Yaomi Park, who managed to escape from North Korea at the age of 13. She's an author and a scholar and decided after doing some research, huh, I think I want to go to Columbia University. So that's what she did. What she found was being taught to young people at Columbia scared her to death. Quote, the things that I was learning at Columbia University really shocked me because it was the exact same thing my teachers in North Korea were brainwashing us with. She went on to say, at Columbia University, quote, they were literally saying that all the problems we have is because of capitalism, because of white men, and the solution for all these problems is a communist revolution in the name of, wait for it, equity. This woman has been there and done that. And she knows what the pitfalls are of socialism and communism. So it blew her away after escaping from North Korea, arriving in the land of opportunity, only to find out, my God, they are indoctrinating kids, young people, with the exact same things as the country that I escaped from. I understand many of you because it's easy or it's convenient to swallow wholeheartedly what the liberal media and those on the left would have you to believe. But the fact of the matter is, my friends, all you have to do once you start buying into this crap is to talk to someone who's been there and done that. Talk to anyone who has managed to escape from North Korea. Anyone who has managed to escape from China. Anyone who has managed to escape from Iran, from Iraq, from Venezuela, and the list goes on and on and on. Talk to those people about the direction that our so-called leaders are trying to take us in. You will get your eyes opened real quick. And listen, listen, I get it. I understand wholeheartedly. The old adage is as true as the day is long. The grass always looks greener on the other side of the pasture. But once you get there and start munching on the grass, you realize, hey, these are a bunch of weeds that they spray painted green. They are indoctrinating our young people. And thank God for this woman who managed to get out of this oppressive system in North Korea. And God bless her, only to find out now that she escaped from one only to land in another that is trying everything within their power 
to do the same thing. Listen, y'all. You don't have to be Einstein to figure this out. All you have to do is ask yourself one simple question. What would my life be like today? Had it not been for Western civilization, had it not been for the United States of America, had it not been for freedom-loving people, I can tell you where you'd be. You'd be speaking German or Japanese. That's where you would be if it were not for those evil capitalists, those evil Americans, those evil Westerners. That's where you would be. Uh, Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Do you speak German? You would be. At some point, y'all, we've got to start a serious pushback. You know your buddy Clarence. You know I'm a big, big fan of old adages. The old people that imparted wisdom to us look smarter and smarter and smarter every single day. All you have to do is listen. And if you have just a smidgen of common sense, you can figure it out. The old adage, another they imparted to us, is those who are blessed, and I'm going to paraphrase here, those of us blessed with freedoms, rights, and liberties bestowed upon us by this country, we have an obligation to do everything within our power to make sure that those rights, those freedoms, and those liberties remain intact. Does this one ring a bell? To whom much is given, much is expected in return. You ever heard that? If God has blessed you to be an American, to enjoy these freedoms, these rights, and these liberties. They are not yours to forsake. You have an obligation to do everything within your power to be sure that these freedoms, these rights, and these liberties remain intact for those that follow us. I don't know about you, but I cannot stand the thought of someday if God blesses me with grandchildren, they ask, uh, Papa, Grandpa, I understand y'all had all sorts of rights and freedoms and liberties before I was born. Why did y'all let those be taken away? I don't know about you, but I dread having to have that conversation with those that follow us. Ronald Reagan once famously said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. And unless you've been living your life with your eyes completely shut, we are closer now than we have ever been to that coming true. Bottom of the hour break. Let me get this done. When we come back, some folk are finally getting tired of this crap and they're standing up. But it's not what you think. That's next. When we continue the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show right here on the Pelican. Stay close. Got termites? Get Premier Pest. PremierPestServices.com You could be driving a 
Now's the time to save on new Accords during Happy Honda Days at Team Honda of Acadiana. Get our lowest prices and biggest savings on our largest selection of Accords this year. Hurry in and save during Happy Honda Days at Team Honda of Acadiana, I-49, just south of Opelousas. Hi, I'm Katie, Operation Manager here at Old School Barbecue. We're excited about all of the changes here at Old School, and we'd like to invite everyone to come out and enjoy some delicious barbecue at Old School prices. We feature brisket, chicken, ribs, sausage, and the Boss Hog Pulled Pork Sandwich voted best deal in town. We also have live music Friday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. 10655 Corsi Boulevard. We can't wait to see you. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugier, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugier Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we give back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Spiders. Premier Pest Services. Welcome back to the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Have you all noticed something recently regarding our fight here in America against COVID-19? Have you noticed watching television, listening to the radio, social media, etc., 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 how all of a sudden now this get the shot, get the shot, get the shot, get the shot. It's almost disappeared. Have you noticed that? Have you also noticed all around the globe, people are now raising very legitimate questions and starting to take action against governments that pushed a false narrative on us, as liberals usually do, by using the tactic of fear. Enter Dr. Masanori Fukushima, Professor Emeritus at Kyoto University, one of Japan's most prestigious institutions of higher learning. This professor, Dr. Masanori, along with a group of fellow scientists, announced recently a lawsuit against the Japanese government. Quote, Today, it is a matter of fundamental importance for the Japanese government to continuously collect and disclose accurate information. I have witnessed the recent fraud scandal committed by the health ministry and I've come to realize that this is a serious problem of historic significance that threatens the very existence of the nation of Japan. As a medical doctor and a scientist, 
I had no choice but to take legal action. Take a look, this doctor says, at the 65 to 69 year age group and the 70 to 79 year old age group. Surprisingly, when you look at these two groups of people, the number of new infections or positive cases per 100,000 people is four times higher for people who have been vaccinated and boosted twice than those who never took the shot. However, he continues, in last year's data, the health ministry deleted all that information. In fact, vaccination has been recommended based on the explanation that vaccination doesn't prevent infection, but vaccination prevents severe illness and reduces the mortality rate. Based on the data, he says, published by the advisory board in September 2021, the basis for recommending vaccination for all ages should no longer exist anymore. Despite that fact, the health ministry has pushed ahead on vaccinating. I consider this to be a national crisis. This is why I have decided to file a lawsuit against the government at this time. You know, fear is a powerful thing. Do y'all realize now that you've had the time to digest this, do y'all realize we let a community of people talk us into doing something, putting something in our bodies, adopting Social distancing, social distancing, shutting down workplaces for a virus that has a survivability rate at the top of the charts. Meaning, for most of us, if we get it, we won't even know we had it. And if you get it, and realize you have it, there's over a 96% chance you'll get over it. And for that, we mandated that you put something in your body that God only knows down the road may do to you. We shut down businesses, shut down schools, shut down workplaces for something that if you got it, you probably wouldn't even know you had it. And if you did realize, oh, man, I got COVID, you have a greater than 96% chance that you'll get over it. Now, this goes to show you just how persuasive and effective the constant drumbeat from the media is. Who was it? Marty, help me out. Who was it that espoused his view on the big lie? If you tell it loud enough and long enough, eventually everybody will believe it. You ain't no help, Marty. Thanks, bro. <laughs> but it shows you if every time you turn around, oh my God, COVID, COVID, COVID. When you're standing in the checkout line, oh, you, you, you got to stay six feet away from me. All of this crap that we now know was just that crap. You see how they play you? Fear is a powerful weapon. 
And you've heard me say before, y'all, the easiest and most effective way to scare the bejesus out of people and get them to do what they want you to do is find a boogeyman that you cannot touch, taste, see, or smell. Oh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's going to get you unless you do what we tell you. All you got to do is scare people bad enough. Not only if you scare them bad enough, will they give up their rights, their freedoms, and their liberties? They will beg you to take them. If history is anywhere near accurate and or kind, this period will go down as one of the greatest bamboozling of the entire population on planet Earth. I'll let that sink in. Now, one thing that has come out of COVID and the resulting world that we now live in is just how fragile life actually is. That's where the newest sponsor of the Clarence Bug Show, Dignity Memorial, can help. Unless you, if you are so fortunate to up until now not have someone die without plans in place already, for their funeral arrangements, their memorials, how they want to be remembered. Just keep breathing. Because it's coming, son. It's coming. One day, you will find yourself in a situation where a loved one unexpectedly passes away. And the family does not have the resources to handle it. Well, that's where Lee Serio and his darling wife Gretchen come in. They work with over 2,000 funeral homes all across the country. Pre-planned funerals, emergency responders funerals, our nation's heroes funerals. They can walk you through everything involved. And they've also got plans that everybody can afford to pay for all of this ahead of time. Listen. I have been there and done that. Finding out in the morning that your loved one has passed away and there are no arrangements in place. And the family now, aside from dealing with their grief, also has to deal with the responsibility of picking up the tab for all of this. If you, like me, Dread waking up one day and finding yourself in that situation. Call Lee. Call Gretchen. Tell him I told you to call. 225-315-6187. 225-315-6187. One of the things that you cannot put a price tag on in life is peace of mind. Knowing that when your time comes, this is all taken care of. My family will only have to deal with my grief. They won't have to deal with the ungodly costs these days of funerals. Do it for yourself. Do it for your family. They deserve you doing so. Dignity Memorial. We are so proud to have them as the newest sponsor of the Clarence Bug Show. Final break of today's show. We'll get her done, come back, put that big old pretty bow on this puppy, and we wrap up the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. 
only on the Pelican. Stay close. You can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get-together or a game day feast, having Manda in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats. The flavor says it all. Every great story starts with the rush of thrilling gaming action. Handcrafted flavors, eager to please. Getaways for some well-deserved me time. And rewards worth bragging about. If it's a story worth telling, it starts at La Berge Baton Rouge. What's your story? Treads and Care Tire Company announces its new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair with top-notch customer service. Treads and Care offers the convenience of shuttle service and pickup and delivery of your vehicle. You can also enjoy the comfortable customer area, complete with workstations, high-speed internet, and a complimentary coffee bar. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. Treads and Care, the tires you need and the service you want. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Tremonti's has meat. Tremonti's has seafood. Tremonti's has much more. Tailgating and home gating platters. Huge wine and liquor selection. Beer and all the spices you need. Chairman Reserve and Wagyu meats. Ribeye rolls, shrimp rolls, kebabs. 20 flavors of sausage for the grill. Daily lunch specials and game processing. On-site catering also available. Good meat ain't cheap and cheap meat ain't good. Visit Tremontis.com. Sometimes life is wonderful. And sometimes it's not. Cherish the good. But always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private Healthcare is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready. And health insurance is your financial safety net. Health insurance has never been so easy and affordable. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is $35,000 or more, call the number on the screen now and speak with a live health care consultant. Don't wait. Get the coverage you need now. Welcome back to the final segment of the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. You know, one of the things that I love most about the human experience is how in the midst of certain things, you can have an epiphany. Clear out of the blue, you're looking at whatever it is you're looking at, and it hits you. Many times, uh, like a ton of bricks. I'm watching recently the liberal media's news coverage of all these mass shootings and transgenders, homosexuals going out killing people willy-nilly. And it occurred to me, you realize, do you not, all these folks are Democrats. Look at every major city that is besieged by crime. Portland, Seattle, Oakland, San Francisco, 
L.A., Kansas City, St. Louis, Milwaukee, New Orleans, Baton Rouge, Camden, Newark, New York. Go down the freaking long list. And you realize these are all Democrats. And of course, the left's solution to the problem, since they can't get their own people to act like civilized human beings is to take the guns out of the hands of people who don't commit the crimes because of these clowns. You see how they play you? You want nothing more than to protect yourself, your family, and your loved ones. But because Democrats cannot control themselves, they want to punish you. In the midst of this epiphany, I noticed something else that <laughs> really brought it home for me. Remember recently, there's this big kerfuffle in the media over an invitation to the White House. Dr. Jill Biden thought it would be a good idea to invite the losing team from the NC2A Women's Tournament to the White House to celebrate with the winners. This has never been done in the history of inviting the champions whether it's on the collegiate level or the professional level. It's never been done. Now just imagine, <laughs> just imagine for one second what the outcry would be had Donald J. Trump decided, you know what would be a good idea? Let's take away from all the glory of this mostly black team, LSU, by inviting this mostly white team that lost to the White House. You know what the outcry would be, don't you? Oh, yeah, you know. We would hear about this until the next NC2 8 championship tournament. So in the midst of this epiphany, this thought came to me. Get a room as small or as large as it needs to be. In that room, assemble your family, friends, co-workers, loved ones, particularly if you're black. Ask the people in that room, how many of you have a loved one, a friend, co-worker, associate who's been killed by a white supremacist? You might get one hand raised. Then Ask that same group of people, how many of you have a family member, co-worker, friend, associate that's been killed by a black person? Every hand in the room will go up. Think about it. But the left will have you believe Surprise, surprise, that white supremacy is the greatest threat to civilization. Malcolm X and I did not agree on a whole lot of things. You understand, I grew up in a military household. So I related more to Martin 
than I did to Malcolm. But Malcolm was spot on. He nailed it. When he said, and thank you, Marty, my brother of a different color from another mother, Malcolm was spot on when he said the white liberal is the greatest threat to the black man in America. All of these problems in the community of people that look like me, and instead of addressing them, their own constituency, mind you, Democrats. Instead of doing that, which would be the prudent thing to do, they shift the blame to white supremacists. You know what that is, right? Gas lighting. We don't want you looking at where the real problem is. We're going to shift the blame someplace else. Even though it makes no sense at all, since they've got the media on their side, they can do it. Black people, and I mean this in all sincerity, y'all. How many people do you know personally, former coworker, friend, family member, whomever, that's been killed at the hands of a white supremacist? Now, how many do you know black people who've had a family member, coworker, friend, associate, that's been killed by another black person. Everybody's hand just went up. Let's get to the real cause of the problem, y'all. Because gaslighting and pussyfooting around the issue ain't going to get it done. And if these people, Democrats, really cared about you the way they claim they do, that's the first thing they would want to do. Get to the root cause of the problem. Some of y'all not going to get that till later. But that's all right. As long as at some point you get it. I just hope that you hadn't been killed by another Democrat before you realized it. My time's up, y'all. And I got to go. But you already know the drill. This day, maybe more so than any other day in history. I give it to you. You're right. America, we are not perfect. But for this old boy's money, <laughs> it's the best there is. And God knows there is no place else on his green earth that I'd rather be. You know the good Lord loves you. And you know I do too. Best news is there ain't a doggone thing you can do about either one. Take care of yourselves and each other. We'll see you soon. God bless.